What's up everyone, Mrs. Violence here, and I have been thoroughly nagged to do a commentary for you guys, so that's what I'm going to do, and it's about my MLG career, I guess, and the little history that I, have you know, have been a part of with Major League Gaming, and how I kind of came to be who I am today. So, back in 2000 and around, I don't know, 4 or 5, I started playing game battles really heavily. Uh, Rainbow Six Three, Black Arrow, Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon, and it was all in fun playing online, but I'm sure a lot of you guys play game battles, but it gets a little crazy with the capturing, the cheating, the ongoing nonsense, maybe not even getting your payments, your 360 that you win. Oh yeah, you know, game battles is fun, but Major League Gaming was where it was at, so I took a big risk and I stopped playing game battles and I started to focus on forming, you know, myself as a pro gamer. So I started to think about going to LAN events, you know, on the mainland because throughout high school I was in Hawaii and I couldn't really go to LANs. There wasn't any. And if there was, my brothers and I pretty much won them all. So when I moved back to the mainland, it was a little difficult to get back into the whole LAN scene, but I did it, you know? And I went to my first MLG event in 2007 at Meadowlands. And it was awesome. I went in, you know, playing Rainbow Vegas with a, you know, a pickup team with some old buddies of mine. And after that, I pretty much uh, got into Gears. Gears of War. Big, big deal at that event. You know, VVV Vision took first. It was a big, huge crowd of excitement, and I wanted to be a part of it. So that's pretty much where I went from first-person shooters to third-person shooters. And I don't regret it at all. It was a lot of fun, the big switch, a whole new community, new fans, and, you know, honestly, a new game that I had to master. So I pretty much start practicing I Gears of War about 16 hours a day. I trained with some of the best players in the game. They taught me how to play, uh, you know, sniping and secret nade throws, like all these cool tips and tricks. And I really focused on Gears of War, and that's where... For the next two years, I competed and placed top 20, as well as coached top five um, consistently on the circuit. So it was it was a big change for me. But then, you know, I kind of wanted to do a little bit more, not just Gears, no more coaching, because Gears was kind of on the decline as well. And that's where I got into WCG Ultimate Gamer and started doing the, the whole sort of reality side to gaming instead of competing and you know, grinding and practicing so many hours a day. So you know Ultimate Gamer came around, that was a huge thing for me. I, I was shocked that I got picked and it was just a thrill to be on the show seeing all, all the familiar faces of the cast and stuff but like I said it took me away from competing and that was a little weird for me. It was a big out of the box moment for Kelly Kelly. So, for me to get back into competing, it would have taken a little bit more than Gears of War 2 or Halo Reach to get me interested. And that's where, you know, guys, in 2011, I joined up with J for Jade and uh, Lady Insanity, and we, well, you know, we didn't pretty much form Ham. Ham just sort of came together like a magic bond that we all knew was going to happen, just didn't know what time. So we teamed together, and we performed great. We get a great response from Treyarch, you know, Call of Duty Black Ops. MLG loved us. You know, it was a big hit, and I thoroughly enjoyed that team. It was a lot of fun competing with Black Ops, and there was a lot of rivalries. It, it really brought the heat and passion back into competing for me because it was gone for a little while since, you know, the decrease of gears, and even Halo was just on the, on the fritz. So... Call of Duty really made me bounce back, and thank God, because I wouldn't really even consider competing again unless it was for Black Ops 2 or something. So what do I do? I compete, I compete, I compete, I compete all year long. So what happens? My competitive career takes a little spin and goes towards reality again. Reality shows call, and Kelly Kelly, aka me, aka Mrs. Violence, is ready. She's ready to be on camera again, because that's what I like to do, you know? So the controller, Battlefield 3, came around and kind of interrupted my MLG um, plans for Orlando and Providence, but no big deal, you know? Ended up winning, kind of took a spin here in my career again, 
But hey, you know, I'm still pretty big in MLG. Uh, I plan on going to all of them, as many of you guys know. Now, competing, that's a good question. Everyone is asking me what I'm going to be doing. I don't know yet, you guys. With no Halo, you know, no Gears, no COD, no LAN, you know, it's a little weird. So I'm really looking forward to Black Ops. Uh, you might see me with the controller in my hand. You might not. You might see me with a microphone. So I really hope you guys liked my... Uh, quick little 43 and 1 here in Black Ops. I was live streaming with you guys, had a, had a girl playing with me, and she, she was boss, so of course I enjoyed my time. Well, I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe, like, and give me a comment down below. Tell me what I can improve on, what I can't improve on, because I'm the bomb. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!